touch the thermostat. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can achieve this frostbite makeup. If you're new to my channel, this is going to be part of my 12 days of SFXmas. And what that is, is for the first 12 days of the month of December, I'm going to be posting a new Christmas themed special effects makeup look. So today we have frostbite. It's not fun, don't recommend it. So if you want to check out my other Christmas videos, I will leave a link in the description to the playlist I've created. I will also leave a link to my Halloween playlist if you want to check that out as well. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, so to start off you just want to take your Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation in medium sand and apply that all over your face. Next, we're going to be moving on to contour. For this, I'm taking these two contouring shades and just applying that where I want to add more of a crevice or shadow onto my face. So for this, I'm going to be putting this onto my temples and under my cheekbones and my jawline. For my highlight, I'm taking my NYX HD Concealer in O2 and I'm just going to be applying that everywhere that I want the light to be more prominent on my face. So for this, that is going to be under my eyes, my forehead, the tips of my temple, and the bridge of my nose. Then to blend this out, I'm just using a foundation brush. I was not in the mood to go wet my beauty blender because I was feeling kind of lazy. So I decided to use a brush alternative. So I found that a foundation brush works incredibly well with blending out highlight. To set and or bake my concealer, I'm going to be taking a dry Morphe sponge and my Airspun translucent powder and just pressing that in and moving on to eyebrows. While I let that sit, then I'm just going to be brushing away the excess powder and moving on to eyeshadow. The eyeshadow for this look is going to be incredibly simple because we are mostly focusing on the special effects aspect of this. So for this, I'm just taking my Lorac eyeshadow palette and I'm taking pink cream and highlighting my brow bone. Then I'm going to be taking mist and lightly applying that into my crease. For the eyeliner, I'm taking my L'Oreal Silk Me Eyeliner in Charcoal and just tight lining my lash line. Now, I actually probably would recommend using a brown or something like that. Moving on to contour, we're going to be taking our Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette and we're going to be taking medium cocoa. We don't really want to tap too much into dark cocoa because we do want this to be a more cool toned look as much as possible. So I'm simply using medium cocoa and just chiseling out and deepening the contour from earlier. For our frostbite look, we are really going to be taking out of this Ben Nye bruise wheel. So I'm going to be starting off by taking the purple and a lip brush actually. And I'm just going to be applying that around the inner and outer corner of the eye and really focusing on adding more towards the inner corner, leaving an empty spot in the center of the eye and building it up more in the outer corner and also bringing that down towards the lower lash line so our eyes look raw from rubbing them and from the cold. We're also going to be bringing that purple color around our nose, so you're going to be applying that around the edges of the nose and bringing it up towards the center and on the tip of the nose as well. Basically, you're trying to make it look like whenever you see those pictures of people who are really sick and they have like a stuffy, snotty nose and everything, we're basically trying to recreate that. So we are also going to be adding a little bit around the lips and adding some sporadically across the forehead and on the cheeks to really give that cold flushed look. You're adding it sporadically because you want it to look almost like you have a few broken blood vessels on your face. Next, we're going to be taking the indigo color from the bruise palette and you're going to be applying this in the same areas and you're basically using this to deepen up what you already applied before. So we're going to be putting this on the inner corner of the eye, a little bit on the lower lash line, a lot around the nose, and make sure that you're kind of treating this exactly like a bruise. It's going to be lighter in some areas, but then your frostbite is going to be more congested at a certain point. So you really want to make sure that you have a nice blended look and it's not so choppy. You wanna make sure that everything blends together seamlessly. Also, if you are doing this look, please make sure to remember to blend into your ears and add some frostbite decay onto your ears as well because you're not going to have perfectly healthy ears if you are out in the middle of the cold. I mean, granted, you're not going to be wearing eyeliner likely anyway. I mean, who knows? You never know. But just make sure that you have some frostbite on your ears as well because those would be deteriorating along with the rest of your body. 
Taking your Graftobian Pro Paint in White Swan, you're going to be applying this to a spoolie brush and you're going to be applying that onto your eyebrows as if you have gotten snow stuck inside of them. You're also going to be wanting to sweep that through your hair as well. You can feel free to add other little fun shenanigan things to your hair, but I decided to kind of just leave it at this. Next, we're going to be taking our Ben Nye Clear Latex and applying that to our nose. Now we're going to be creating the actual frostbite, the part of our face that is actually falling apart. So I'm applying that to my nose, my forehead, and my cheek, and you're going to be just applying tissue over top, once again layering it with more latex, and starting to color around it so you can really start to get that blended look that is going to be blending in to your latex and then darkening it up with that indigo. Now for my favorite and least favorite part of the entire look, I'm going to be taking my Nigel's Ultra Ice and my Ben Nye Glitter Gel and I'm just going to be applying that sporadically all over my face. Obviously I'm going to be adding more ice on the wounds themselves and kind of applying them all around my face and kind of framing it and thinning it out in certain areas so it looks like a nice sheen of ice is on it and the glitter is just to make it look a little bit more like snow when the light catches it. So. The reason that the ice is my favorite and least favorite part is because the favorite part is because I feel like it really pulls the look together. It looks absolutely stunning. It looks so realistic and I highly recommend buying this if you're doing any sort of ice look whatsoever. The reason it's also my least favorite part is because this stuff is so annoying. It feels so weird. It's just like this giant gel and I feel really weird. I don't know. It just feels like you have a crap ton of KY jelly all over your face and you know, it's not pleasurable experience, but it's fine. It does the job. Okay. So since I'm pretty positive, my camera stopped recording while I was doing the rest of the ice. I just applied ice to the rest of my face. I attached some salt, which if you have sugar or Pop Rocks, I recommend using that because you don't want to put salt anywhere near your eye, which leads me to the next thing. I put salt near my eye. Don't do it. Use salt or, no, no, no. <laughs> Use sugar or Pop Rocks because I'm just doing it for photos and I was extremely safe, but I would never recommend doing it because salt in your eye, like you, you imagine salt water in your eye, now imagine just straight up rocks of salt in your eye. It's not fun. It's not great. Don't recommend it, but I just put ice on the eyes as well while painting the lashes white and just applied the salt to the tips so it wasn't really super close to my eyeball so I, they wouldn't start burning up like a slug. I know I sound stuffy because somehow uh, method acting came into this at some point and now I have a cold so it's fine, but uh, yeah, continue on. <laughs> And that is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below what you'd like to see next. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my SFXmas videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!